Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. Uh, this is the first tutorial for 3D Max shading and lighting. We'll start with how to create a glass shader in 3D Studio Max. Uh, to creating the glass shader, we're not going to use any kind of uh, uh, mental ray shaders or uh, any kind of special uh, external shaders. We are going to use the uh, uh, default um, 3D Studio Max shading system and uh, we'll see how we can make a detailed glass shader uh, <coughs> for using so first of all I will create a base uh, and take a plane and let's create it and I'll just put a material over here of uh, a bitmap Use a wood, okay. Uh, if you hit render, I'll see very nice one looking. And next, we'll create a teapot. Oops, so to make it large a bit. Zoom a bit. That's it. If you hit render, you'll see the teapot. Uh, I have to make it a bit bigger. All right. So, yes. So that's it. So <coughs> just uh, I'll make it a bit smooth. If you hit render, you'll see the outline. Uh, the it's not two sided, it's one sided rendering, so the other side is not getting rendered. So go to the render settings and uh, switch on the force two sided on. And see, this uh, the both side has been come up. And now we'll create the uh, glass shader. This is the wood. Uh, always rename the shaders. Say plane. And this will be my glass just uh, select the object and assign select the shader and assign material to selection now if you see the glass uh, this is very important to understand the uh, property of the glass the glass is uh, actually don't have any kind of color it's uh, have a full opacity I mean full opacity in the sense uh, the opacity is way absolutely zero and uh, it depends actually uh, on uh, what kind of glass you are actually creating. Uh, sometimes the glasses are not 100% uh, uh, transparent, but uh, in general cases uh, we can say that glass is actually a transparent object. And uh, so, first of all, I will have to reduce the opacity of the shader as the most important part. Just make it zero. And uh, definitely, the glass is. Uh, I have their specular level so I will increase my uh, specular level and though the uh, specular level if you double click the uh, shader you see the the specular is uh, very uh, soft and uh, uh, spread it out I have to uh, tight it so increase the glossiness I increase the uh, specular level more and the glossiness so that is the uh, specular actually I'm looking for. Uh, though you can change it uh, in a uh, later later part after you know uh, finish up the basic uh, calculations. So okay. Now, so this is the glass material, and uh, it's not finished yet uh, because um, I've just. Uh, I mean uh, reduce the opacity and if you hit render you'll see the only the specular part is act actually coming out you can uh, reduce uh, the glossiness a bit so the specular uh, area uh, go a bit increased okay fine now that's this is this is very interesting now <clears throat> now what you are actually seeing is only the specular part the color part is absolutely gone uh, uh, transparent so uh, now which is the most important uh, 
factor of the glass is uh, the most important property of a glass is uh, uh, if you go to the map section you'll see uh, there is a two very important uh, uh, parameter of a glass that is a reflection and a refraction a reflection is uh, how much the light is going to bounce from the surface and the refraction means uh, while passing through the object as it is a transparent object how the love when the light passes through it it actually changes its direction and that's what the uh, the x factor of a, a glass material um, if whenever you are uh, looking to sometimes you will see the flat glasses which don't have any kind of refraction level so that is only a, a kind of a transparent and the reflection is out there so you always uh, uh, use a uh, a reference object uh, reference pictures or reference object for the uh, model or the kind of an object you want to create so uh, here I'm just going to use a very simple uh, uh, method uh, reflection we are going to use uh, one uh, map which is called uh, to use called ray trace now ray trace is, uh, is a very important uh, map of is a procedural map it's not an external map or external image. It's an absolutely procedural map from a Max. What, act, what actually ray trace do? Its name actually making it clear. It's a ray and trace, which means you, it's actually uh, tracing the light rays of uh, through the object or any kind of a uh, material you are using uh, the ray, ray trace in. So I will use the ray trace in the uh, reflection, and you will see the trace mode is. Uh, generally been auto detect you can uh, leave it to auto detect but i uh, prefer it to be in reflection as i am in the reflection mode uh, i will use the same uh, uh, map in the refraction also and but i don't uh, going to use uh, instance value i'm going to copy that and within that ray trace i'm going uh, i'm changing to the refraction so this is a very important thing because uh, what kind of trace uh, of the light uh, the map is going to use is very important to tell max now <clears throat> the amount of reflection and refraction is very important because this is a full amount uh, this uh, can burn your image uh, if you hit render um, uh, now if you see uh, in the uh, the default scanline render and the default scanline render take a huge amount of time uh, to uh, calculate the ray trace though ray trace actually is a very it's a very uh, time consuming uh, thing to uh, render uh, in the rendering uh, always always very very expensive uh, in terms of rendering but uh, you see the i, I don't have to uh, use it uh, you can see that the image is actually burning because of the reflection amount and the refraction amount. It's it's getting too high. So I'm not going to use uh, the uh, the uh, general or uh, default uh, render engine, uh, which is a stand uh, sorry scanline render. So I'm going to switch uh, switch to the uh, mental render. Uh, just using the mental and the no mental shaders but before that i'm going to uh, reduce the uh, reflection value to 10 and uh, the uh, refraction value to uh, maybe 20 so that will do the uh, amount and uh, if i uh, go to the render setup and uh, in the common section uh, see assign render default scanline render i have to change that uh, uh, render into the mental render so uh, in the mental ray, uh, you will see this in the indirect illumination. Don't forget to switch off the final gather because I don't need the final gather, uh, which is actually going to use uh, a lo lot of memory or extra memory which I don't want. So switch off the final gather and uh, check the force two sided zone and uh, just hit render, and you will see this uh, very nice uh, sort of uh, uh, images uh, coming out. Okay. So this is this is very very quick. Um, you know this is very uh, this is uh, very interesting, <coughs> and that's it. Your your material is coming. Uh, here you can see the black portion is coming out because of the reflection of the environment. If you see uh, there is nothing in uh, surrounding, uh, so uh, the amount of uh, refraction here. Uh, you can you can see the the amount of refraction the lines has been uh, completely gone and if you if you reduce the reduce the uh, refraction uh, amount 
if you reduce to zero and uh, you can you can still see uh, some amount of uh, a refraction uh, uh, okay i think i think it made something okay sorry sorry just a minute my my oh sorry uh, okay now actually my camera has been zoomed in so in the viewport so if you see now you'll see the uh, refraction has been reduced a lot not fully but a lot but still I'm going to use the uh, because of the ray trace uh, map still I'm going to use the uh, refraction uh, and if I hit render you will see uh, the nice refraction is actually coming in uh, and very positively so that is my uh, uh, glass material but uh, still I'm going to need uh, I'm, I have to use uh, some more uh, thing to improve the picture quality I mean uh, there are uh, reflection areas you can you can understand this uh, my environment is black and nothing is there so if you put any kind of image that can fake but still uh, if you put any objects uh, around it and if you have a true environment you will see the, the effect is fantastic uh, and I'm not going to use any kind of uh, background or uh, surrounding images or anything so that will that will go for it but the shader is absolutely like this but uh, this is not the final uh, shader I'm actually uh, missing some uh, detailing what kind of detail I'm missing uh, I'm going to show you but before that I'm going to uh, make it a clone uh, image of uh, this render and I just uh, close it and what I do uh, to make the details in the opacity map I've just uh, switched down I mean, switch, uh, I mean almost uh, uh, make it a zero uh, the opacity uh, uh, right now I'm going to override this opacity information through an, a map which is uh, called uh, fall off which is a very interesting one what fall off actually do fall off actually do uh, the it's actually calculate through the camera uh, according to the camera the the amount the uh, the object which is which the object part the part of the object which is uh, straight towards the camera will be uh, uh, I want to make it uh, transparent and I just want to uh, make highlight the outer parts of the object so doing so uh, fall off type I have to change it uh, to Fresnel uh, what actually Fresnel do if I uh, double click the uh, map oh sorry I uh, if I just go to the shader the glass shader and switch on the background you see the already it's ha it have the uh, trans uh, sorry refraction I have to switch off the refraction first now this is the Fresnel this is absolutely a Fresnel I, uh, I'm going to switch off the ref reflection also this is a, a Fresnel uh, fall off map which is actually overriding the the opacity thing the what is actually uh, fall off is saying where whichever part of the object is straight towards the camera is going to transparent and the amount of angle it's getting from the camera is going to opaque so uh, this is a very interesting one and I can change the amount of the opaque even uh, by uh, uh, the mix curve if I add uh, any kind of a, 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 a in between um, point and I can increase the amount of the outline of the image which I'm uh, getting now but uh, even I can decrease the amount also and making a very thin line of the uh, outline so it's up to you what uh, what is the kind of an amount you want but right now I'm I'm leaving it as uh, default and uh, I'm switch on the reflection and refraction and I'm going to render uh, the same uh, object uh, same scene in a uh, with a uh, fall off map in opacity so just hit render and there is uh, the final output now what is the detail which I actually missed out in the last uh, last material you see the outline of a few parts of the the object you'll see here my outline is actually missing my objects outline is actually uh, missing you can see this part you can even see some part of the area of of the handle and you'll see the outline is actually missing 
but in in the after I'm using the fall off map you'll see you can clearly understand oops yes you can clearly understand there's a very very fine outline uh, which is actually distinguish the object from the background and which in actually which is actually making the object a, a nice uh, a thick look in the out in the outside of the uh, outside of the object and even in the in this part so in the handle of the kettle or the teapot which is a uh, very significant which actually put an extra you can see the handle part this part is very also also important this is actually missing the missing the uh, detail this kind of detail is actually missing when you are actually not using the fall of map for uh, uh, the creating the glass so this is the final output which I'm actually looking for and so you can uh, create easily uh, a similar kind of uh, shader uh, without using any kind of mental ray shaders or V-ray shaders or anything and you can have a very nice look so uh, that's all for this uh, chapter so thank you very much